Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is Network Access Control or NAC. Friend, today's topic is very interesting especially if you have interest in technology or you want to learn about it. So let's start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So friend, uh, Network Access Control or NAC, what at actually it is? Network access control or NAC also co called as network admission control is a method to uh, bolster the security, visibility and access management of a proprietary network. It restricts the availability of network resources to endpoint devices and users that comply with a defined security policy. The NAP, uh, NAC can also provide endpoint security protection such as antivirus software, firewall and vulnerability assessment with security enforcement policies and system authentication methods. Now what is the importance of network access control? Friend, network uh, NAC is critical for modern businesses because it allows organizations to monitor the devices and users authorized and unauthorized trying to access the network. Unauthorized users include cyber criminals, hackers and data thieves and other bad actors that an organization must keep out. But businesses must also be gatekeepers for authorized users. This particularly applies to organizations that allow remote access to the enterprise network from non-corporate devices like mobile phones, laptops and tablets or companies that allow employees working in the office to use personal devices. Both scenarios create security risk demanding organizations to address network security. NAC is one aspect of network security. It provides visibility into the devices and users trying to access the enterprise network and it controls who can access the network including denying access to those users and devices that don't comply with security policies. NAC solutions and tools help companies control network access, uh, ensure compliance and strengthen their IT infrastructure. Now what are the types of network access control? Mainly there are two types of NAC including that pre-admission which evaluates access attempts and only allows entry to authorized devices and users. Post-admission uh, reauthorization users trying to enter a different part of the network also restricts lateral movement to limit the damage from cyber attacks. Now what is network access server actually? Uh, many NAC functions are performed by a network access server. A traditional network access server is a server that perform authentication and authorization functions by verifying user logon information also known as a media access gateway or remote access server. A network access server handles remote logins, establishes point to point protocol connections and ensures that authorized users can access the resources they need. A network access server can function in several ways which includes internal service provider which enables authorized customers to access the internet, virtual private network which gives remote users access to a private enterprise network and resources, voice over internet protocol allows users to access communication applications over the internet. A network access server can also support network load balancing to distribute traffic and improve reliability and performance, network resource management to manage and allocate resources for networking processes, network user sessions to track users, store their data and persist their specific states. Now what are the common use cases for network access control? NAC tools are proactive and designed to stop unauthorized access before it happens. 
They protect an organization's network premier uh, perimeter, including the physical infrastructure, devices, software, applications, and cloud-based assets. Uh, there are many use cases of NAC, which we shall discuss it in detail. First, bring your own device. Protect from vulnerabilities created when employees use their own devices or use company devices from remote locations. Network access for non-employees, vendors or patrons, NAC with VPN allows external users to access the corporate network or specific parts of it through a secure self-service portal actually. Then Internet of Things IoT prevents cyber criminals from exploiting IoT devices connected to the enterprise network but often overlooked in terms of security and monitoring. Incident response identifies compromised devices and automatically disables access to prevent an attack from spreading across the network. NAT tools are also useful for security and authentication in a specific industrial use cases such as media devices and healthcare systems. Now what are the capabilities and goals of network access control? NAC devices uh, enforce security policies across all users and devices on a network through multiple capabilities which includes uh, the limit network access to users and specific network areas, prevent data access by unauthorized employers and cyber criminals, block access from endpoint devices for example mobile phones that don't comply with enterprise security policies, manage policy lifecycle for multiple operating scenarios, recognize and profile users and devices to protect them from malicious code and integrate with other security solutions through application program interface. Now how to use the network access control? NAC offerings cover a broad range of capabilities and use cases so to find the right one consider the features like security strategy maturity, budget, price and upfront investment, native integration with existing software, type of proactive uh, tools provided. So uh, friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you like it, uh, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And uh, thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you friends.